Hello. This video is a demonstration of FIMS, a project management information system designed for the four major rivers restoration project in Korea. This is a major construction project proposed by the Korean government and has a number of participants having different management aspects. FIMS stands for Integrated Project Management System for four major rivers and I would like to take this opportunity to show the great features of this system. This is the first page when the user logs in. As shown in the system structure on the left, FIMS has a hierarchy structure of contractor, project owner, PMO, and cyber control room system. First, the most fundamental part of the system is the contractor management. When the user clicks contractor, the list of all projects are displayed in the right panel, where users can see each schedule and its progress status very clearly. There are 170 ongoing projects, and users can easily see the schedule status with colored indicators. Clearly, the yellow or red color indicates there is a delay, and green color means it is running on schedule. Let's go into the details for one of the red projects. The overall information for the selected project is presented in the main page, and here, Users can see some of the activities didn't start on time, and it causes a delay in the schedule. The main menu has Overview, Data, Schedule, Report, Issue, Community, and Simulation. Monthly schedule status is represented by an S-curve chart and gives users an intuitive view of plan versus actual progress. This data comes from PERT CPM software. Under Schedule Management, users can view detailed activity information such as duration, plan, actual cost, and others. In Photos, real photos of the project site are saved and reported. These photos and work reports can be used to evaluate project progress. Resources displays accumulated information on available human resources, equipment and materials. 4D simulation gives users the highest visibility by integrating the project schedule with a graphic simulation system. In the bottom section, users can see the time bar moving from start of project to finish and that construction is approaching completion. Also, it is possible to zoom in and out or even view from various angles using left or right mouse buttons. By stopping the time bar on Time Now and clicking Web Camera, users can easily compare virtual images with the real project site. The system supports multiple cameras for a project site so that various real-time images can be monitored. Users can see a web camera which is represented in eight points. This makes it possible to control the project without actually visiting the site. All this data is consolidated into one project owner system and PMO system. Let's get back to the first page and show you the project owner system. When users click this part, they can see a total of 21 organizations and 170 projects managed by different organizations. Users can also find yellow or red flags that mean, be careful. Let's go into details of this organization and see what happens with the projects that belong to this organization. Here, in Schedule Status, as you can see, the actual value is less than the planned value. Menu structure is similar but different from the menu in the contractor system. From left to right, overview, breakdown structure, schedule, cost, action, community and simulation. PMO gives users a broad and summarized view of information for all projects. In progress status, users can see the integrated progress by year, quarter and month. This data is consolidated from the contractor system to the project owner system 
and transferred from the project owner system to the PMO system. Now, let's move into the Cyber Control Room system. The Cyber Control Room system has a graphical layout rather than text-based to enable the user to monitor the project status more intuitively by using 4D simulation and web camera. These features make project management more intuitive, accessible, and convenient. Remaining duration, schedule, cost, progress, and major structures are arranged on the left side. In the right side of the map, users can check the status of each construction area. Click here once. It brings up a large map where users can see each construction number. Click one more time and it brings up the largest scale view with major structure of the site. Let's go back to a smaller one in order to check the status of one of the sites. By clicking site number three, which is Han River, it shows project home page and some more details and displays in the tab below overview, progress, schedule, resource and photo. To see a major structure, just enlarge the map and click on the structure. Here, users can see detailed progress information of the structure. The dashboard gives users an overview of project schedule and the cost status using a gauge and pie chart. This is actual versus plan and here you can see the actual by each area. As demonstrated, our simple but unique project management information system can manage schedule and cost systematically and provide analysis and evaluation reports in a timely manner using 4D simulation and web camera features. All these benefits can assist you to successful project execution. This is the end of the video. Thank you.